Hello, Sean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's been so long since I've been here. So, yeah. We'll be starting in around a few minutes. I'm gonna share this first. Oh, is the, there you go. I think the background music was too soft. So, hmm. I suddenly don't remember how to <laughs> how to stream. <laughs> Hello, welcome, Ben. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Around 6.20, I'll be starting at 6.20. I'm just trying to remember how to stream again. Oh, do you guys like the, the background music? It's actually uh, background music. Uh, personalized background music I commissioned from Eska. for this uh, channel.
Yes, music. Okay. Poop. Sorry, the chat doesn't uh, is not visible that much at the sides, but yeah, this is my usual screen when I'm just gonna talk. <laughs> So, okay, uh, how do we start this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, um, hello, welcome everyone, this is Sophia Abby. Uh, yes, I do stream sometimes. Oops. Yes, the goat, the literal goat. Uh... I'm just to be honest it's been it's been two days already since the Pokecon ended and god damn it's been I'm still I'm still not over it like I I I just recently fixed my room and I just recently also managed to handle my uh, the merch that I bought back in Pokecon. <laughs> Gosh, three, three, three separate tweets just to credit all the artists. Insane, so insane. I haven't even credited the the. What do you call this? I haven't even credited the. <laughs> Thank you, Pen Omg. <laughs> Uh, like I haven't even credited the what do you call this, the sponsors because, God, I I, I just recently like I have like six bottles of <laughs> Yobic at home and I'm like, damn, can I really finish this? Of course I can, but but, you know, damn, all I can say is like, uh, damn, <laughs> kind of thing. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna start with day one. So so at day back in day one, I, I what do you call this? I cosplayed as Kieran from the Teal Mask DLC. So technically, the whole Pokecon PH Market Market kind of uh, theme I did was the Teal Mask DLC. I know I should I, I was planning I, I originally planned for Kieran's Jinbei outfit and I'm I'm actually really amazed that in the span of Pokecon people were cosplaying the Jinbeis. The 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 official Jinbeis even made their own Jinbeis, I'm not really sure. Because because the Jinbeis looked really good. Like God. I really wanted to do that too for Kieran, but I was like I'm already tired from suing Ogre Pond's cosplay, so I'm like, I'll just do a casual, almost like official Kieran cosplay. But I was like, I was, I was dumb, and I didn't even put makeup on back in day one because there were so many people. Like after the setup, people were just coming in because it was the start of the malls, the mall hours as well. And wh when we were traveling to uh, and we were traveling to Pokecon, like when we were traveling to Market Market, it was. <laughs> At least you were close to your character. Have you seen my attempt? Well, it's so it's hard. It's hard to be like, it's hard to really cosplay at first, like especially if it's Jinka, like. It's actually really hard. So I understand. It's uh, it's okay, Pen. It's okay. So I only managed to finish like I had a like I'm really glad that my jacket went through because I only received the jacket on Friday. I ordered it like at on Wednesday in Shopee and I'm like can it can can this really come through? I'm like okay it, it did and it's quite small, a bit small. 
I really need to get thinner. <laughs> it it was it was quite small for me, and I couldn't really do Kieran's famous pose because of my stomach. I really need to get get it a bit thinner. I don't I don't really mind not really getting super thin, but but I just need my stomach to be a bit flat or a bit like a bit, just a bit, so that I can do the 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 neuron fo the sound of crying pose. The sound of crying. I, I, if you, if you don't know that meme, you, you should know that meme. The, the cat, the we, 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 sound of crying <laughs> meme. It, it literally like Kieran literally looks like that cat, like sad cat, sad crying cat. And he, he, ha he has slitted eyes, so cat, cat energy. So. Yeah, I, I I cosplayed Kieran on day one, and I joined the eating contest, the wings eating contest, which was called the Buffalo. Uh, wait, uh, what was it called? Buffalo wings and things, wings and berries eating contest. So, uh, so it's a wings eating. It's a spicy wings eating contest. <laughs> And I didn't know what prizes were there. I just remembered uh, someone asked it in the Pokecon GC. Hello, Yuya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you been? How you been? It's been it's been a while. Like so a while. Like the last time I streamed was at September. And look at it. It's the end of November. I guess you can say that. Throughout that time, I was working on the cosplays I was planning. So, so <laughs> you can say I did a break for cosplay planning. I wish a bit of your approval. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, okay, lo, back to the story. I was like, I was like, oh, there's a contest. <laughs> <laughs> working on cosplay, working merch, working on all the cons, working, working, working. Exactly. I didn't even cosplay in the last, like, September, October cons because I focused on PokeCon immediately. Like, new PokeCon. And and since Teal Mask... Oh, cool beans. Oh, thank you, Cool Beans. Contents the cosplay win, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cool Beans. So, on the first day, I cosplay this Kieran and... There was this wings eating contest, and I joined it. And apparently, only three people joined it. And apparently, the prizes were for the top three. So we, no matter what happens, we all just won. It just depends on what what rank do we want win. Like what rank do we win? It depends. So. They they explained it, they explained the contest and I didn't know it was a twelve piece wings. Like like the the you are tasked to eat twelve pieces of wings and drummets. Like it's a combination of wings and drummets and the 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 uh the flavor was called Armageddon. Apparently it's the spiciest flavor they have in the Buffalo Wings and Things. <laughs> no, congrats on getting beat up on stage too. No. <laughs> All right. I I wonder if if uh people actually saw that part as well. But yes, like what Penn said there, I got beaten up on stage <laughs> on my awarding ceremony. Yes, spicy wings. I I like spicy stuff. I can handle some spice. When when uh, when I saw that it was twelve pieces, I'm like, oh okay. And then they said it's t ten minutes. I was like, oh shit, it's ten minutes. I didn't even know. So and the good thing is they actually prepared mumu milk. Like it's actually a container shaped like mumu milk, and they put the symbol of mumu milk on there. And I'm like, oh my god, mumu milk. That's so cute. Oh, I should ch I should show pictures of that, but it's in my phone, and my phone's charging right now. So, yes, th they actually had moo moo milk on it, in the in the sides, and 
the goal of the contest was to actually have your uh, display your partner Pokemon. I even though it's I cosplayed Kieran, I had Ogre Pond with me. Like she was my buddy. My my Ogre Pond plushie was which I lovingly named Pon Pon because that's the name of my actual Ogre Pond in game. So <laughs> it's so funny. And then the the the, the, the MC was like, you should have put the Hearth Flame mask on Ogre Pond. I'm like, oh, that's so valid. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? Did you at least keep the Moo Moo milk? Yes, yes, I did. I keep the container of the Moo Moo milk. I drank the Moo Moo milk after I ate all the wings. It was so funny because when 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 the contest was starting, I was I kept eating the wings. Then then I was like, oh, I I, I want to drink the milk, but I couldn't open, I couldn't open the container of the mumu milk. So I kept eating, I kept eating and eating. And you never showed me the bottle. I'm so sorry. It was in my bag. Uh, <laughs> it was in my bag. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It was it was in my bag. So so while I was eating, I kept eating the wings, and I I I I I, I ate the drumets first, but left a bit to save. You better bring it next month. Oh sure sure I I will, I will. It's actually a nice container. I should wash it soon. I already put like I cleaned it, but I haven't put soap in it. But I, I cleaned it already. So, uh, when I when I was eating it, I was like, oh, I, I, I left a bit for the drumettes. Like, I'll come back to it, but I won't. And the uh, and I kept eating and eating. Then I would uh, like I'll eat the big parts first, then slowly work on the smaller parts, then. When the time was at like, around two minutes left, I, I think I was done already. But but when I was trying to like open the open the container of the mumu milk, I couldn't open it with the plastic gloves. So I kept I, I just decided that oh I'll just drink the mumu milk after I eat everything. <laughs> after I eat every wing and drum it. So I did that, and the and the hosts were like, oh you should. Dapat sa idin mo, like, you know, you need to, like, really finish it. So, I did that. So, I keep coming back to the old, uh, to the other wings to, like, literally, like, uh, eat every part. I would have died. No, I, <laughs> yeah, that's how, the, the spice level wasn't that bad for me. Like, Samyang was bad. More horrible. Samyang is hor more horrible than the wings. <laughs> and I like Samyang. I eat Samyang for fun. That's how, that's my tolerance for. Ay! <laughs> oh, gee! Yeah! <laughs> so, so, uh. So, I, I did that. I I ate and uh after I eat and I decided I checked and decided around less than thirty seconds part I checked if I if I I did leave anything with uh with the trace and I think I was content with the progress I did with the chicken so I I decided to actually be done and remove my glo and remove my plastic gloves and actually drink the fucking moo moo milk and and then, and then there and then the contest was done and then I realized no one the other people didn't even finish their wings I'm like oh my god I, but, uh, I feel so so much of a gluten that I actually finished all the wings and they they, they gave out like twelve pieces of wings. I'm like, God, oh God, <laughs> and I didn't even eat breakfast that day. Like, I, I, I think I ate some. I ate like a bread. I ate bread. I, I ate, I ate snacks. But you won though. Yeah, I did because because the other the the the, the third person the, the 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 girl that I befriended, worth it though for the wings. Yeah, 
for the wings and the 1,000 pesos. I forgot. Uh, yes. <laughs> and 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 the nice goodies that they they gave out. And they gave they uh, I think I posted it on Twitter. But yes, they gave that cute badge. They gave that. It wasn't. I think with the 1.5k is for a different uh, contest. Yeah, it's just 1k. The the prize was 1k. If I'm not mistaken, because I I only received 1k, according to my GCash. Uh, I got a cute pin. Like I got a cute pin for my ogre pawn and for myself. Because because it was it was acting like a Pokemon contest. So if you won it, your Pokemon gets a gets a ribbon. Quotation quotation ribbon. So she she got a cute ribbon badge, which is a button pin, a button pin with the coolest ribbon. And that's so cute because because cool is always emphasized with spicy flavored uh berries. So I, I do believe that it's in, in my head Ogre Pawn can eat anything. Like A plus. A plus. I mean, how would have she survived for hundreds of years if she was picky with her food? Like Yes. So I, I got some prizes and it was really fun. I placed all my pri uh, all the merch. I was also buying merch uh, afterwards. Like I was also buying merch afterwards that time. Uh, I placed all the merch in the bag, and their the, 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 their tote bag is pretty cute, and. It was so funny that people were like, "Oh, I could have joined this, the contest, but it was spicy, so I couldn't." I'm like, "I'm sorry. I, I'm a really, I, I, I really like eating. <laughs> I really like eating. I'm such a glutton. I really like eating. <laughs> this is why I can't get dinner. So, but I do want to get a bit thinner for my next year's PokeCon because I wanted to cosplay Eri from Team Star." I I at least want my tummy to be a bit uh a bit uh flatter. Like so I can at least bind it so that it has the illusion of having muscles kind of thing. And uh it was so funny. It was really funny. And there was this friend of mine, I forgot his I forgot his name, but his handle has uh uh, Susie, yeah, yeah. Oh God, the fish sandwich. Like I was so. I, I after after that, we were we went home and Pen was there helping Lumi's booth, and I was like, oh, I think I'm hungry a bit, so I'm gonna buy some food. So I, I bought a fish sandwich, and the fish sandwich was okay. The fish was okay, but the veggies in the fish sandwich wasn't okay. God, that tomato was so bad. I hated that tomato so much. I despised that tomato. But I, I am a person who doesn't like leaving anything behind in their food. So I ate those horrible tomatoes. So th I think the fish and the tomato and the spicy chicken kind of mixed in my stomach. So I kind of rested for three hours. Rather than working on my cosplay, I rested for three hours because my stomach was dying. Like I, I kept, I had, I had LBM, <laughs> TMI, <laughs> TMI. I had LBM so bad, and I couldn't work on my cosplay even though I needed to finish it, and I wanted to practice it a bit, but I couldn't because I was like my, like, Ugh, my stomach, my stomach was dying, like. God, why why is this why is my why 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 is why was I suffering? Like I needed to finish this or else my cosplay wouldn't be finished. So I I why did you why didn't you let me assist? It's okay, it's okay. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm I'm I was all right like in the morning. It's just the uh, the really really like the wee hours of the morning was the really bad ones. I got okay after a few uh, trips to the CR. <laughs> I was okay already by the time that we needed to go. 
and stuff. Uh, what else happened? Uh, but I, 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 uh, what I did in the evening after uh, when I went left home early was I took bath early so that I could work on the cosplay the whole night and uh, wouldn't I do I didn't need to like take a bath on the next one. You're an artist. When are you ever fine? Uh, <laughs> I I don't know <laughs> I don't know as well uh yeah so after that uh it's now day two and then my stomach is okay is pretty much uh full not really super full but I guess it had some stuff I guess because I ate at like twelve midnight so I can I guess it kind of passed through the hours that I worked on. Like, I ate like, I ate fries with the fish sandwich. So, yeah. According to my friend who also joined the Spicy Wings eating competition, they also had a really bad time with the CR afterwards. So, so that how, that's how I proved that it wasn't only the fish sandwich that was bad. It was also the chicken. It not really bad as in the chicken. I think it's bad because of the spice. It's the spice that killed my stomach, even though it wasn't really spicy for me. I like how pe how the how the how the like the the what do you call this? The hosts were like just eight <laughs> eight out of ten in spice level. Yeah. Yeah, the the spice wasn't really that spicy for me. I think for normal people it was it would be spicy, but it has the right kick. It has the right kick. I like it. I like it. But I don't like it. I don't wi want to eat it again, like, just 12 pieces of wings for 10 minutes. I would like to take my time next time. <laughs> like, bro, I don't want, I like, I like, I actually ordered some of the buffalo wings again for my sister because she just came home from Japan today and I, I, she was like, sis, I'm so hungry. I want to eat rice. So I, I gave her. Yeah, love the spice, hate the toilet. Yeah, exactly. I'm. It's like it's like being lactose intolerant, but with spice. But I'm. Yeah. So with that, I. At least I survived that night, and I managed to finish the cosplay as well. And. Uh, yeah. So. Onwards to day two. The the ch the chunky part, the chunky part of what really happened in Pokecon. Like so, it was actually really funny that uh, during Pokecon I would always like okay I'm gonna go uh, man my booth in the morning. I'm gonna man my booth in the morning, then do the events in the afternoon, and then my 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 seatmate would. Like, just look after my stuff. And it, I think that's the reason why I didn't have... I had lots of sales, but not so much. Like, I didn't have... Like, compared to the last... Y last uh, uh, six months ago... Na, 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 uh, last six months ago, I had more... I don't know. I think I... In totality of the two days, I had more than the one from the May Pokecon. But if I were to like separate the two days of Pokecon, I would have lesser sales compared to the f the first one. But I I understand why. Why is that happening? It's because I'm not in the table. That's why they didn't buy. That's why people didn't buy from me because I wasn't on the table. No, I I wasn't on the table. So, but I understand. I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind really. Like, I, I got, I already got like break even the first day. So I don't really mind if I don't really get too much sales. And I already like spent so much on merch. So I'm pretty sure that if I didn't spend anything on merch, 
aside from the budget that Sean gave me, I would have more sales. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. So day two, okay. In the morning, I was like really dazed. I don't know why, but I was like, I felt, I felt the everything that happened to me in the last few hours before the day two started, like the day two of the event started, was really bad. Like, like I was like, I was dazed and. The, the 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 morning was pretty slow for me like i didn't have much sales at all like only only when my friends come by that's how i got sales and stuff then so i was like oh since i'm i'm pretty slow today why not why not i go out and buy the merch i needed to buy from my friends so that i can buy stuff for Sean and do and do the stamp rallies while they still have stock for the stamp rallies. Ow. Wait, let me... There you go. So I did the stamp rallies and bought some macarons from Mizzy K. So I did that. And... But actually, that was actually the day. <laughs> yeah. But... When I was like shopping, it was around two p.m. two thirty, two thirty. I heard. I I think it was two p.m. Yeah, it was two p.m. But it was nearing two thirty. When someone was tell, uh, when the PA, when the PA suddenly was like, phaging the ogre pawn cosplayer, and I was like, huh? It's not even three yet. Then apparently, it was the cosplay competition already. They adjusted the time. The, the, the contests from the previous hours finished early. So everything kind of moved up. Even though it was the contest was supposed to be at 3 p.m. So I panicked. I, I didn't have food. I, I just bought food, but I couldn't eat it because they were calling for me already. I was like, what? Really? God, wait. Oh. My mind, my mind was like, I was, I was like, damn, I was, it, it was, it was really like, I was so anxious, paranoid, everything. I, f I was feeling everything that time. Like I, 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 I had so many merch on my arms. I had my bag, my wallet with me and, and I didn't have all the costumes with me yet. So I had to rush and, and there were, the crowd was bad. Not, not really bad meaning there's no people. There were too many people. I couldn't go to the, my booth, which was beside the fucking stage. It was, it was, it was, it was a hassle. I was so, I was, I was getting so nervous because, because they were really paging me and everyone Every friend of mine was like, we were contacting you on your phone and my phone was dying. My phone was dying that time. So I was charging it. So I was charging it and God, I was like, I was so paranoid. So I was like, I, I was, I was saying sorry to my booth mate, to my, to the admin that was uh, looking at, f looking after the booth. And I'm like, sorry, I'm so sorry kind of thing. Then... Uh, good thing I prepared the other Howries, the the cloaks of Ogre Pond. I already prepared it, arranged it to the exact uh, arrangement I needed it for the con the contest. I was practicing it because earlier, like a few hours earlier, before the event started, I uh, before the the before the cosplay competition started, because the the, the crowd was really slow at the morning. So I ha I kind of practiced it a bit and stopped it. Then, uh, good thing I also glued the 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 masks, which I because I only decided on the gluing of the masks like a few hours before the contest. So I did that too. Good thing I I did that earlier so that I just wore everything. And apparently I'm the second person performing. I'm like oh god. Oh god. 
Oh god. So I was like dying already inside and my co- and my performance wasn't even starting. My performance wasn't even starting and I was already dead. So okay, the first one was Dawn and she had a really cute performance. I really like her cut performance. Like she was so ganky and she has Piplop with her and like oh god, cute. Cute. Then it was my turn. God. Oh my god. They started my video too early. <laughs> they didn't even wait for me to go to the center stage. I'm like, bro, everyone else. They waited until the 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 the, the cosplayer was in the center stage before they played the background music. But mine, they played the video immediately. They uh, wait, oh wait, are you boothing next to Lumi next month? I could lend a hand to your booth if you need it. Uh, in in Kos- Kosmatsu, yeah, I yeah I am yeah I am. Thank you, Pen. Uh, so y- when my performance was, I was panicking because they started it too early, so I couldn't do the the gimmick I was gonna do on the first, which was to act like Ogre Pawn with uh, which you could have seen in the video. You uh, if you have seen the video, I was gonna perform exactly what does the video show, like. I was gonna uh, do the, uh, but every time the the terrestrialization works, I would spin around so that you can see the whole outfit. But I could, uh, but I only manage. But I only manage to do that. I only managed to do that on the first one, which was the heart flame mask, which was. Uh, which was the first, uh, the first one, the first Howry I wore. So with that, I, I managed to do it. I managed to remove it properly, and uh, the people were apparently cheering, but I couldn't hear it because I was, I was the 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 background music was really loud on the stage, so I couldn't hear anything, and my my hearing is blocked by my wig and the mask, so I couldn't. I was only focusing on the performance. On the second, on the second uh, Howry, the Wellspring mask, I managed to do it well. But when I needed to remove the Wellspring mask, the the Howry of the Wellspring mask, the blue one, kind of stuck. I think I think it's because of the of the glue. It kind of stuck with the cornerstone one, and they both fell off. And I was like, oh shit, wait. Hello, Mion san Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm here talking about my Pokecon experience. And I'm currently uh, talking about my performance right now. So sit back, relax, and uh, hear, <laughs> I guess, feel free to like chill while hearing me rambling. <laughs> so while I was performing the, the one with the Wellspring, the Wellspring mask, when I removed the Howry, the, the the gray the gray howdy also came with it. I'm like, oh shit, wait! Why did you remove yourself immediately? Even though you were the heaviest howdy that I have, like it fell off so easily along with the blue one, and I was panicking. I was panicking on stage. I, I I'm pretty sure you can actually see it in the video. Actually, like I was panicking to put back the the cornerstone. Howdy along with it and my cornerstone mask actually flew already because it wasn't really heavy it wasn't really heavy my masks are really light my masks are really light so they fell immediately when I when I real when I, I kept checking the background as well of what's happening and good thing while I was panicking the perf- the the cornerstone stage was also ending so I decided to ditch the fucking cornerstone howdy and continue with the teal teal mask howdy and the teal mask howdy also kind of fell like half of it already fell from me and I forgot to get the teal mask from the other howdy from the gray one so I had to also get that from the back where I threw the cornerstone howry. And it was really weird because I just keep getting stuff. And at least for some for, for some reason the the howry, the 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 perform the, the video part of the teal mask uh terrestrialization 
was quite longer. So along with the, like if you compare uh, the wellspring and cornerstone uh, terrestrialization, they were shorter compared to the hearth flame and the teal mask terrestrialization. So I had enough time. The lightest Howdy was the teal mask one because it was made with lighter cloth compared to the other three that I had. The other three was with heavier cloth because I didn't have enough same uh same brand of cloth to and the same brand of cloth with the with the exact colors that I needed. So that's what I did. And I fixed the I I I slightly fixed my how my teal mask howry. Then with the fixing, I you I finally used and performed with the uh, the ivy cudgel. Then I uh, then I ended the video. I ended it with me falling because that's what happened. Technically, you defeated uh, ogre pawn by the time you defeat the teal mask, but they didn't stop the video. They didn't stop the video, so it kind of looped. And they people didn't know if it was the end. I wish they actually like stopped the video so that they'd know it's the end of the video. So I kind of it's kind of the, the transition of the end was kind of weird, in my opinion. So that happened, and and Sir Borge was really kind with his comments, in in like oh did you see that. How it's it's I forgot their exact words, but it went like, "Can you believe that Ogre Pawn changed forms in that performance? Like change all four forms in that performance?" And I was like, "Oh God, thank God I'm done." And I think there were ten. They were there were ten. Uh, there were ten cosplayer. Cosplayers that were that were participants of the cosplay competition. My favorite performance was Larry's. Like, like he was just his typical corporate slave self. Like, only true Pokemon Scarlet Violet fans know that he was the best in character and performance in that fucking event. Like, bro, I wanted him to win. I wanted him to win because it was amazing. His deep size, his co working on his laptop, working on, working on his work. It's just amazing. And and then the cosplayer looked like he's really done. Like. I'm so ha I'm so I'm so I'm so amused with that cosplayer. And apparently the cosplayer also has a booth on on PokeCon. So it, like mm, yeah, nakama nakama. And I kind of missed some of the performance. There was also Irida. I like I like the I like the performance. I watched the videos again. Like on last Monday, I I watched it and I really love their performance, but I was I was I was afraid. I, I I'm just sad that I only I didn't really manage to watch them live, because after my performance I was panicking inside because everything like the second half of my performance went wrong for me. Like in my mind, they all fell off. <laughs> in in the figurative sense, the fell off in figurative sense. That kind of get got to be the literal one because my howies fell off. But 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 it's like I was empty, like I was dazed, empty, and hungry. I was feeling not myself. I was I I I was I was trying to calm myself as well. And people were like, "Good job, good job, Sophia, you did well." Oh, did you hear your? Did you hear the cheers? You did well. Don't you worry. You did. Uh, you did great. That was an amazing performance. And and then and then Sir JV was like, "Good job, good job." Uh, I'm trying to translate what he said because because it was in Filipino. Uh, I. What he f literally said was, "Napakinggan mo ba yun? 
People were cheering for you. Like, have you heard that? People were cheering for you. Great job, Sophia. And everyone's like, great job. But in my mind, I, d I know I didn't do a great job because, because everything, was, everything fell off. So I was like, no, I didn't. I didn't do a great job. Like, it, 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 was, it was weird. It was, I, d I didn't know what I even looked like. So I, I was afraid of the videos. Like, if ever they took a video, I was afraid how I'd look like. Because, because I, was, I was like, like, just, I was just, empty like like i was panicking and in my mind i was like oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit like literally my mind was like oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit, oh shit until until the end of my performance i'm just glad it ended properly like i actually did the teal mask properly and yeah so the whole after my performance i was dazed i was just listening to the the bgms of the other performances and I finally watched my friend uh, Zoe's performance as champion. I mean, not really champion, as Battle Tower Leon, which was a really good cosplay, by the way. I really love her cosplay. Like, she's, she's my Leon bestie. Like, I really dedicated, like, my Leon merch for her. Like, yes, that's for you, bestie. And it was amazing. Every Leon... Every Leon uh, cosplay she does is really amazing. So, there. Uh, the cosplay competition ended. Apparently, when it ended, there were already, uh, there were already, uh, what do you call this? It was an instant. Like, once the cosplay, con the, the cosplay performances ended, they already had the results. I was like, ah! oh god, oh god. Kind of thing. I'm like, oh my god, that they had results already. I I was panicking so bad. It was so bad. Like, oh my god, oh my god. But when I saw, when I saw, uh, Saul and the gang, A.K.A. the lousy trio, at the side stage, I had a hunch. I had a hunch. But I was still scared because I, I didn't know how I performed. But I had a hunch because they were there. They were at the side. And what do you mean what what did I mean about the hunch? Is because I promised and they promised to me that if ever I won the cosplay competition, like at least any, 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 uh, what do you call this? If I ever, like, any, if any place, I guess, I think any place, I didn't even really specify if I won the, as a, the champion. I just, I, I only promised to them that if I won a place on the cosplay competition, I told them to bully me. <laughs> I told them to bully me. Like, I give you the permission to bully me on stage <laughs> kind of thing like here i give you the permission to bully me on stage if i ever win and they were like gee we're doing that so so they actually decided on actually doing that like our plan was to actually just have the cosplay the cost group the cosplay group with the uh, lousy trio and when Soul and the gang was in the sides, I was like, oh my god, is this real? And, and when they were announcing the winners, the third place was Ball Guy, which was really good. I, didn't, I, I only heard the background music of Ball Guy, and they used the Pokemon Masters background music, and it was really cute. Then I watched the video that Soul... That Soul, that Soul uh, took it was really cute it was really like ball guy i'm like oh my god I, since i played uh 
me and my sister played Shield recently. It kind of stuck on me and what Ball Guy does. So it's really accurate. Ball Guy was really accurate. Oh my god, I was like, God, Ball Guy was amazing. So yeah, he was third place, the second run up in their terms. So in the second run up, it was Ball Guy. Then the first runner up, which I thought was gonna be the champion actually. Was the May cosplayer that had a Jesse in it? They reenacted uh, anime, uh, an anime episode, but I forgot which anime episode was it. It's it was one where I think May got her Pokemon cookies, and Jesse was like, "Oh, I'm getting getting the cookie." So, yeah. And chaos ensued, and the uh, ember, 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 the ember, 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 ember was really funny. Like ember, 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 ember. It was really funny, and they actually had effects. Like I, I don't know where they got the the fla the, the 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 smoke the smoke screen kind of thing. Because because ember, right? So <laughs> it was so funny and it was so amazing. I thought they were gonna be first. Then. Then they were like, oh, yan, champion na. Like, oh, it's the champion time. Who, who do you guys think is the champion? Then people were chanting, Ogre Pon! And I was like, huh? In my mind, it was like, I was dazed. Like, I w my, 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 uh, my, my shoulders were slouching. My, my, my head was like, Leaned back because I was so tired and dead, but I kind of, I kind of felt like shocked, like really shocked when I heard that. Like when I first heard them chant, chant Ogre Pond, like, like who do you think is the champion, Ogre Pond? And the, and and the the host was like, Sir Borge was like, he did that twice, and the second part was louder, like. A lot of people were chanting Ogre Pon. And I was like, huh? In my mind. In my mind. Because I was really tired, so I couldn't I couldn't really speak. I couldn't really speak. I couldn't really I was uh, I was like, huh? So Yeah, I was like <sighs> I don't know if I can actually play the video here. But but yeah, if you guys have seen it, you've seen it. Uh, so you when when then when Sir Board said, uh, where was it? What was it? Let, I'll just play the audio. I forgot what he exactly said, so I'm gonna play the audio. I'm gonna play the audio because I, I I really like how oops, oopsie ads. Let's pause the background music first. God, this ads is so so long. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that part, that part, that part was insane. When, when giving us the reveal and the reveal, that's how I knew. That's how it finally synced in. That's how I finally synced in that I was the one who won. I was like, oh shit. I was, I was, I was like, the, the emotions was welling up already. Like I was, I was, I was in a bit, I was in the verge of crying. Like all these months I've been working on this cosplay and the plan of the cosplay, performance all all happened so well like it actually fell into place and okay let's put back the, the music well, it all went back into place and i actually i actually did it i actually 
granted the promise. They granted the promise that I I, I that I promised my friend Saul about it. And chaos ensued. And yes, we didn't really actually, we didn't really actually told the the, 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 the organizers we're gonna do that. Like, surprise! We didn't like. It's not scripted. They didn't know. The organizers didn't know. No one really know. Only us, the cost group, knows that that's gonna happen. And it was only gonna happen if I win. So, and since I won, they did do it it's a rare it's a rare event it's a it's a rare trigger event <laughs> it's a rare trigger event that only will happen if i ever win and and then i did and i did so it happened and i'm amazed people were so amused with it like i'm so happy <laughs> i'm so happy our, our gimmick our our ogre pawn in the loyal three gimmick was was really a good <laughs> this is a really good uh, thing. I'm sorry for the organizers for causing chaos, <laughs> for causing chaos. So we we per I performed my performance. Then we performed another performance at the awarding ceremony, and it was really funny. <laughs> and people were really laughing. Everyone was recording it. God. <laughs> I even saw like different angles of the perform of the awarding ceremony. I'm like, I had I had a t artist friend who recorded it. I had uh, another con goer recorded it. Excuse me. Oh yeah, that's right. The dinner has finally. So. God, it was it was really fun. I'm really happy it actually happened. So <laughs> you're official focus star now. Oh my god. Shy. So yeah. And I I I continued on and, and I was really happy that Judy. Uh how do you do this again? Oh fuck. Like, Juddy, this man was there to support me as well. I was like, good job, Sophia, you did great. I'm like, I was, I was so shocked. Like, I was, I was honored that I see, I saw him again. Like, I saw him in the first Pokecon, he was cosplaying. Now this time he is a runner for Pokecon. He was also an admin, I mean a moderator. He was also a moderator for Pokemon at uh, Pokemon at uh, Pokemon PH, so he helped out. So I'm like, God, mm, damn. Uh, and I was really happy he was there. Truly, truly, like it really calmed me down. And it finally, it finally like sinked in that I actually did it. I actually did it. Then when I went back to my booth, everyone was wa wanting to take pictures of me. I was like, wait, I have a booth to run. Because like, oh my god, it's a winner. And everyone was like, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Then uh, while after a bit, I was like, oh shit, the, the event's gonna end soon. So I had to buy, I had to buy some others. And then people were like, congratulations, congr we were rooting for you, then, you know, kind of thing. We were rooting for you. Uh, congratulations! Uh, we were hurting it, and then, then, then my buddy, my buddy Jana, my buddy Jana was like, "Alam mo buddy, uh, ano yun? Alam mo, yun? Alam mo buddy, uh, which is which means, did you know? Did you know, buddy? Uh, 
Nagtataka kami kung bakit ma- ang daming humihiyaw. Like, we were, we were wondering why there were so many people shouting. Yun pala, ikaw na pala yung nagpre-perform. So, uh, uh, oh, it's, oh, it's because it's prob- it was apparently you who's performing. I'm like, oh, really? So, it means that the audience impact was immense. Like, probably that's what, the, what actually made me one. I think that's what actually made me one the the audience impact like my 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 costume was pretty okay I guess for me at least my costume's okay it's a jijinka so they, it's not really super accurate to be to be a pokemon but jinkas get a free pass in terms of design it's just how close you are, how close you look to the Pokemon, that's how you know if your Jinka's probably good. Then, uh, I didn't know that, uh, but that everyone was like, even, even Lumi was, oh, you, uh, no, we were screaming for you, we were, we were cheering you on. Every, and my stamp rally weight, my, stra- my stamp rally mates were like, we were cheering you on. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So after I, I actually bought the th- stuff I needed to buy, I finally managed to have some peace and sit down on my table, on on my chair, behind my table, behind my booth. And even though I had contacts on, I, I actually cried. I, I really cried. Like, deep down, I, I really cried because... It was overwhelming. Like their support and their their happiness, seeing me win. All my friends who knew about my cosplay and me joining the cosplay con- competition would tell me we were rooting for you. And they weren't just one. They were a lot. I couldn't even count them with my fingers anymore. And that's how you know that it's a lot. That's that's a, that's a, the whole lot, man. Like, it was it was insane. It was really insane. I until now, like when I was fighting I- imposter syndrome, like the day a few hours after the contest, I I was like trying my best to believe that I actually did. I I, I actually did deserve the prize, and and at that night when we. Finally, like after after the event, we we actually went and uh, celebrated at home with Pen and 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 Lumi, and I posted. Uh, I had I had my friend Zoe to take my pictures, of, my full body pictures of all the forms of Ogre Pond, and and people. On the comment section, we're like, "Congratulations, Ate! You did great!" And and, and then the, the the Pokemon ambassador of the fo- of the Philippines, Marky Strom, was like, "Congratulations! Congratulations, the Serb, the Serb, the, in the Filipino way that they say the Serb." And they were like, "Oh my God." People are actually saying I deserved it. I'm like, do I really deserve it? My mind was like. Even after I won, I was like, "Do I really deserve this?" I, it was it. My mind is evil sometimes. Like, do I really deserve t- that win? I didn't even know what I looked like on stage, <laughs> kind of thing. So I had, so after the, the day after, like I think it was already 10 p.m. It was already 10 p.m. when uh uh Saul, when Spatial Gum, uh uploaded the video. That's where I realized, like, oh my god, I did so many mistakes. <laughs> but I, that's how I heard people were cheering for me. What I really didn't hear from the stage, I heard from the video. And it was insane. It was insane. Like, you'd, you'd, if, if, you were, if you were that person performing on stage and you didn't hear that, that's understandable. But, but once, not, once that you actually, like, saw yourself and saw the, the the audience view of what you did on stage 
it was it was amazing like bam their support and everything was amazing and that's how I knew Ogre Pond has lots of fanboys like bro I see you fanboys I'm glad shakes hand we are all in the Ogre Pond fan club like yes Hello, Yuki and Spin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you today? I was talking about my Pokemon PH Market Market experience, and I'm on my day two. So I'm talking about what happened after the contest. So, uh, when uh, th that's how I knew there were so many Ogre Pond fanboys, like. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm a Ogre Pond fangirl. That's why I dressed up as Ogre Pond because I really love her. Like, if 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 no one became an Ogre Pond stan, if no one became an Ogre Pond stan after the DLC, I will judge you. I will judge you so hard. Then yes, and P and my my. Uh, teal mask got sold out. The wellspring mask got sold out. My ogre pond chi chi chains sold out. Yes. Ayun naglaro lang na ako ng Leto games at SNSS kanina pa. Nice. And also I'll see an event even on my short visit. I'm glad to meet you. Good job. Uh, well, uh, I'm really glad to have met you. The the event was really fun. I have to agree with that. Even as um as a a, f a con goer quotation quotation because I did the events and as a uh, exhibitor it was really fun for me so you know when 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 people say that they were cheering you on and they were I felt like an anime protagonist for once it was so weird because I had an hoge like ogre has an hoge so I I felt like the ultimate anime protagonist. <laughs> the ultimate anime protagonist for the day, for the day. So I'm like, <laughs> and when I posted my picture, and everyone's like, "Bro, you did, you were, you were so insane. You were so insane, positive. You were so insane that day. You, you already won the fucking." Sayang wala yung favorite ko kasi Brock. Pero nabigyan ko naman yung sticker. Regardless, nice. Like. You already won the fucking food eating competition. And you also won the fucking cosplay competition. You were so insane kind of thing. Positive. It's living on my aqua flask though. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. So Yon, it was wild. It was really wild. I probably the most core memory of core memories. Uh, I actually forgot how to, uh, that I didn't start with the preparation in mind. Sophia, the main character, I like that. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> so, Yon. Um. Okay, I should talk about what happened before the con. Like the days that leaded leading up to the con. It was okay. I had I had lots of cons before before PokeCon, so I did that first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when November came, like the start of November, like I was going to plan on doing stuff before November, but my stomach decided <laughs> my stomach decided to die and my body decided to die like literally like like I'd be out of commission for a week that I couldn't do my merch even my merch on a week on that week like remember the the, the lo very long weekend at the end of October I was supposed to do something on that but I didn't because I was dead I was dead inside my I had so much cramps I couldn't go up of my go out of my bed so I just played Pokemon and hunted for shinies and it was it was the 
it was the Halloween time, howling Halloween time. So I chanted for Halloween Chinese. And uh, the next few weeks of after that, I was in a very, very low state. Like my mind was really low. I was just dragging myself to go out of bed and go to cl- go to class. Then, then the second week of November, I actually tried doing something that I shouldn't have. It was the lowest of low for me. I actually, it was the time where I OD'd. Um, the good thing, it didn't really did much of an effect on me. It wasn't ba- as bad as six years ago, but I still did it. I still overdosed. So, the good thing, the good quotation, quotation, good thing that happened, I didn't really got the si- all of the side effects. So I didn't, I didn't fall asleep. I didn't, I didn't throw up much. I did throw up, but I, I, I it wasn't, it wasn't much. But I, <laughs> because of that, because of that, since I, I drank morning meds, then of uh, night meds, I stayed up for more than twenty four hours again. Back then. And that's how I actually finished some of my merch. The day after I did it. After that, it felt like I resetted my mind and I managed to finish everything. But that was already like two weeks. Two weeks before Pokecon. So I was rushing. I wasn't finished. I already bought my cloth for Ogre Pond back then. And I also bought the cloth for the Jinbei Kiran. But I realized I wasn't. I wasn't really... Like, my mind and body was like, nah, I don't want to make another costume. So I'm just going to focus on Ogre Pond instead. So that's what I did. Even though I already styled Kieran's wig and Ogre Pond's wig. Yeah. Uh, It was insane. It was insane that I actually thought of doing that. Even though I had a con that I really was looking forward to at the end of the month. It's not really because I wanted to die. It's just because I wanted to reset my mind and uh, it actually we did reset my mind i do not recommend it to anyone do not try to kill yourself when you have something looking forward at the end of the month because because it's really bad because you're gonna regret it and i already i and i already regretted it like i regret it the day after i did it now i regret it even more now that i won the cosplay competition like if I did if I didn't do that, I could have had more time. I could have had more time practicing my stuff. I my mind was so bad. My mind's evil. Thank you for the hug, Sean. Uh, my uh it needs it needs it needs some reworking to do, but that's why I have meds. It needs it it, it it's supposed to help you. It's supposed to help you. And yeah. And I had really Oh, reality, Sophia. Oh, thank you, thank you, Yuki and Spin. Uh, it was just insane that in each of my the, the the group chats that I've been in, no one really noticed my cries for help. But then again, I was scripted. I was scripted on my cries for help. Like, I wasn't saying the exact words because... Because I don't want them to panic too much, I guess. If if they knew the the wording, probably only only my twin sister knows the wording, that the 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 triggers, I guess, the 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 actual like, uh, red flag qu- quotes that I say. That's how she knew that I did something wrong. And she's like, "What do you do? What do you do?" Stairs, kind of thing. <laughs> So yeah, it was insane. And now I, after Pokecon, after being friends with so many new artists now, I have so many new artist friends because of Pokecon. And 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 they were like, I look forward to your next cosplay next time. And then 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 the 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 insane, the legendary, 
would do every Pokemon if she if they if he he would would uh they they chatted in the G, in the in the Discord chat in the Discord server in the Pokecon Discord server in the Pokecon Exhibitor 6 Discord server they were like I would be I would we were I would be really honored if you cosplayed someone from Legends Arceus. I'm like, oh my god. Now I'm excited to actually play it. Like, I, I, I was thinking, like, one day, if I ever manage to borrow the Legends Arceus one, I would like to play Legends Arceus. And everyone's like, oh, you should really try Legends Arceus. You'll, you'll, you'll have fun shiny hunting there. I'm like, oh my god, that's so exciting. And, and... I just spent the whole Monday, Monday, the whole Monday, talking to friends, thanking people for congratulating me. Uh, what do you call this? Playing my performance video and the announcement of win the winners video because I don't know. It's just it's just nice watching yourself. I guess it's my first time actually realizing that it was actually really nice watching yourself every time. Like, damn. So that's how you, uh, if you want to relive the moment, you just keep watching the video kind of thing. And I'm really thankful for people like Saul, who's really skilled in taking videos, being uh, uh, a really great content uh, video creator. I don't, I don't like saying content. It's not content. It's, a, it's an art. It's it's really nice. I'm like I'm really I'm really thankful that he he made he gave a really nice remembrance, I guess, from from the event. And and people were so happy that they they saw the fuck they finally the the because because my everyone from the the Pokecon exhibitors ser server where they were like, oh, we really want to watch the cosplay competition. We couldn't really see it from our, from our booths. So, so I was like, I sent, I sent the, the what do you call this? I sent the the playlist that he did, and people were like, oh, gee, your cosplay was just really amazing. Your transformation was really cool. I'm like, oh, soft. I'm like. Soft. So so that's what happened. Oh my god, it's been an hour that I've been rambling. <laughs> god, it was just this is just amazing. It was just truly amazing. Like it was my first time to actually did a lot of things for a for a niche con and that niche was really amazing. Really the best people, like Pokemon fans are really something else in the Philippines. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate, Redeem, Sean. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Don't forget. Sure, sure. So, uh, God, this is, uh, so I'm I'm here to thank everyone who've been seeing my posts on Twitter, seeing my posts on the group chats, on Discord, and everywhere who have seen my cosplay. Uh, what's this called? Uh, I'm just really thankful for everyone. Like. Thankful for being there. Thank you for seeing my progress. And thank you for congratulating me. For everyone who congratulated me. Like every every positive comment you've done on my on my works and on my posts. For the people in cos in in PokeCon PH in Pokemon Philippines as well. Thank you so much for being being the greatest. I, I I'd say the greatest, yeah. 
the greatest audience uh, a cosplayer like me could ever have. Uh, it was it was a really amazing. I, I really liked it. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I might put this up on my YouTube channel just to remember it. Maybe <laughs> to re remind myself what happened, how I talked about my my days before and during Pokecon. So I guess you can you guys can look forward for that. I uh, I can't believe Pokecon is over. Now I don't think I can ever have a different event that would top that experience man that was the most insane experience after uh, uh, after all those times man like i've been booting for five to six years and this is the only time that i that i actually felt like it actually felt like home like home like everyone was Happy with you, enjoying with you. Uh, friendly, very friendly. Every 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 fan was friendly, and they would they would talk about what they like, and 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 they would <laughs> thank you, Mion San. They would talk about what they like, and everyone would be like, "Oh, I love this Pokemon! Oh, thank you for making this merch! Oh, oh, thank you so much!" And to let people know. Artists always look at comments. Comments from friends, comments from other friends. Once one friend knows that you like this character, there will always be someone else making merch for that. Just because their friend told the other friend who's an artist that they like that character. That was me who, when I decided to make the villain merch, because I heard someone really liked Jetsis. I'm like, mm, I'm aiming for your money, Miss Ma'am. So I decided to buy the villains. And apparently, they're really good. They're really good sellers too. But I was actually amazed that the fan favorite villain was Guzma. Guzma was the fan favorite villain. The next one is Sigbolo, I guess. But Guzma, like, like, I think, I think my, my stock for Guzma got halved. And I had lots for Guzma. Because people keep buying Guzma, which was really nice. And, yeah. Yeah, Team Skull Guzma, yes! People like Team Skull, apparently. Then, 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 then. Uh, I've been lurking on some streams afterwards. I was like, oh, I was still thinking of what kind of merch and what, what should I do next for the next Pokecon. So I was like, I'm totally gonna start making my own starter, <laughs> starter Pokemon merch and the Eeveelutions merch. Most probably for the next Pokecon, since that's probably the only few, if not the only con I'll be attending next year. Um, I don't want to attend the really big ones anymore. Like, even though I do earn enough in those big cons, I just, I don't know. It's just tiring for me now. So I'm just gonna enjoy being with my element aka pokemon <laughs> and it's just really fun to cater to the pokemon fans uh what else what else uh i guess that's it <sighs> it's it's just a short stream i guess not nothing much nothing much I'm just I'm just really happy to finally put it out there. I'm just gonna send I'm just I guess gonna send this video to my friends 
if they ever wanted to know what what I felt or what I did in the next in the the two days of Pokecon. And so yeah. Uh thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who's here. I know it's not much, but I'm really happy that they are here. People are here to listen. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna be raiding Juddy because he's been the greatest support that I had on stage back the back in the backstage of uh, Pokecon. So and I'm really happy. I'm really happy. So I'm gonna send my happiness to Juddy as well. I hope. He doesn't mind being raided while he's playing Pokemon Unite again. <laughs> well, he always starts off his streams with Pokemon Unite, so... Haha. <laughs> See you, and thank you. Probably next time, next Pokecon, I will be cosplaying as Eri from Team Star. That was my original plan for Pokecon originally, but I, I didn't because uh, Ogre Pond was too powerful. Thank you, Bungu. So you have a good night. Take care. Take care as well. Uh, I w if, 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 if things are good, maybe, maybe I could cosplay the spoiler. Spoiler. On whenever days it happens. You'll know when you get there. It's already hinted from what I cosplayed back in day one. I will cosplay the spoiler version if he ever does come out in Indigo Disc. Wink. So if he ever needs a new wig, I will order a new wig for him. So, haha. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good night and good morning. Good afternoon to others. See you at Jedi Stream. It's like, it's like.